Make sure you stand till the end, you'll be surprised what we'll share with you today. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW. It could be any BMW from 1 series to 7 series, anything from X1 to X7. If you guys want to know, do you need to replace the brake pad wear sensor on your BMW, even though if it's not affected, stay with us, we'll explain uh, why you should or why you shouldn't. All that will be covered in this video today. Brakes are important, your life depends on it, so make sure that you do it right. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys. So videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money we'll be demonstrating on this x4 that we're putting new brakes on but uh, many bmws 3 4 5 6 7 series guys anything we worked on that we will use on the uh, most newer that we worked on since 2006 models that we use brake part wear sensor that's the sensor guys now you can see it's next to the uh, that's a wire for the abs sensor this is a brake part wear sensor the purpose of that sensor is it's installed on the brake pad okay it goes on the brake pad and when your brake pad reaches certain thickness that brake pad wear sensor will start contacting the disc roller uh, i noticed a little bit of grinding so i uh, practically park the car and order new brakes to pull immediately right so first i didn't want to groove okay the disc roller you can see how close it is right and uh second if that sensor gets warm to the point okay a little bit more it's going to activate and it will turn the light on the inside you will have a brake light on and you may have a brake pad uh, uh, warning uh, break, that you need to replace brake pads on your car warning on the infotainment system as well. Ours is practically not affected. It barely touched the roller and it didn't affect it. But should I replace it or not? That's a million dollar question. This one is uh, X4 with 105,000 miles. Brakes are original, BMW brakes, right, original brakes. Now, I want to show you the difference in the thickness between the new and the old ones. Okay, check this thing out, right? Big difference. Now, most people, guys, think, okay, uh, probably the sensor is good, I shouldn't replace it. But consider that this sensor has been exposed to 105,000 miles. It's, uh, in our case, seven years old. It's seen quite a bit of temperature differences. The brakes will get really hot and cold. The brakes will get hot, cold, and eventually, okay, that may affect it, guys. If you run it on second pair of brakes, it may become uh, fragile. The plastic may uh, practically become uh, really fragile. It may not work correctly, you know, it's an, even you may get a brake pad replacement light as well. In my opinion, guys, to make sure that everything works correctly, this sensor is very inexpensive. It's cheap. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you should buy it from, but in my opinion, you should replace it every time you're putting brake pads. Another common mistake people, common mistake people make when replacing brake pads, you need to put new disc rollers. If yours are thick enough, we have a special video that explains how to check uh, disc roller thickness, guys. Uh, but if yours are thick enough, you may take it to the parts uh, tour and they will resurface them. They will cut the top layer on each side, they will remove the grooves and your roller will be nice and even again so we don't have pulsation and vibrations in the future from the brakes as well. So our advice, replace the brake pad wear sensor. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. <laughs>